my HQ crew, what is up? It's Rachel here, how's it going? I have a lovely box for you today from the wonderful people of Anime Loot Crate and uh, this is this month's box, I have tried to get it on time today so yay me. Uh, this month's team is Brave so it features uh, quite a few good animes this month, I'm really looking forward to this box. Uh, so we've got Assassination Classroom uh, which I love, oh my god I love both seasons, the ending made me cry. Um, uh, Seven Deadly Sins, and there is Neon Genesis Evangelion, which is the only one I probably haven't watched because I've seen clips from it and it looks a little too weird for my taste, but hey, hey maybe one day I'll give it a go. But anyway, back to the lovely box. As always, I'm going to put it to my side and pick for you the mysteries out of the box. I haven't looked, I've tried it all my might because I've had this for a couple of days now. So let's see what's in the nerdy box today. So stick around. Okay guys, so first up we have is the wonderful shirt, and this is a lovely purple shirt, so I'm trying not to look, so I'm going to put up you to the camera, so, boop, oops, sorry, boop, 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 let's have a look, ooh, it's Evangelion from the 1.0 You're Not Alone movie, uh, so this is really cool, I love the print, and purple is one of my favourite colours, so that's a double win, so hey hey, no tea Friday! <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like I said, Avon Games always been an anime that's quite serious, but very messed up at the same time. So it's just never been one that I've given a watch. It's kind of like when I tried to watch Gundam Wing, it was always about the politics and it was very serious and I found it too hard to pay attention to. But um, a lot of my friends are really into it, so I might try and give it a go. So that's a really sweet shirt. I love that print. It's really well done and um, it is a Loot Crate exclusive shirt, so that's a win-win. Okay, next up we have a tote bag. I haven't seen what's on the front. I'm so trying not to look. So again, it's all one-sided, so that's lucky. So I'm going to put up again like the t-shirt. So bop, 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 bop. And ew, it's a Summer Deadly Sins item. And there is um, Leonidas, Barn and King. And yay, Barn! I love Barn. He is such an awesome character. I'm sorry, and I'm glad that he's back um, with the crew. I'm not going to reveal any spoilers for those who haven't watched the second series yet, but heads up, it is amazing. <laughs> so I'm trying to not read the book and skip ahead or watch any other videos. So that's really cool. I would have preferred it if the colours, uh, the characters were in colour, um, but I think it makes the background stick out a little bit more. So you've got all the symbols of the sins just in the background behind each character. You can't really see kings though, um, but that's really cool. So I'm always looking for good nerdy tote bags to take to comms with me. So that's a plus. So that's super duper cool. I love it. Okay, next up we have a Yanyard, or Lanyard, or however you want to pronounce it, and it is from Assassination Classroom, and yay, I, like I said, I'm not one for wearing Lanyards, because uh, we do at work, uh, but I might have to wear this one at work, because it is pretty cool. Uh, so you've got um, most of the characters on there, and uh, you've also got, obviously, Koroi Sensei, and there is like a little card holder pass, so it is cool if you've got like... Um, an expo ticket or something to put in because they do a lot of them like at uh, university based cons uh, so yeah I'll keep hold of it because I do love the pattern <laughs> and I might have to put one of my security alarm keys on this because at least I know if someone takes my keys I know they've got my keys because no one else is going to wear an assassination classroom then yard at work landlord I can't pronounce that word so uh, yeah I was hoping for a figure or something from this anime because the last item we had was uh, the um, little message board with Kuroi Sensei's faces on it um, but hey ho it's still a really funky item nonetheless Okay, so next we have the pin. Uh, this was actually the pin picture that was a little bit spoiled from last month's box because unfortunately someone put the wrong picture on the poster and they actually put this pin on the, the actual picture, not the one that was meant to be on there of... Um, uh, the Magic Girl anime, I can't remember what it's called now, but this is of um, Overlord and um, I haven't properly watched Overlord, I've seen clips of it and I have watched the first episode and uh, a lot of my mates, especially my friend Luke Mason from uh, one of my old work colleagues, he's absolutely obsessed with it and it is super cool and um, I've shown my fiance some clips of battle scenes from it and he loved it as well. This has got ogres and skeletons and demons and medieval fights and explosions and it's super cool and it's awesome and the voice cast is amazing and I need to see the dub actually. So uh, yay, super cool. So I think this is from the um, 
movie that's upcoming and dead king it says on there so yeah that is an epic pin to keep hold of i love the artwork it's really nice it's kind of like magic the gathering sort of style so i had to take a close-up picture for you and uh, show you on my facebook page so yay i love that last item of the book uh, of the box sorry is a book not a box of a book a book a, a book in a box uh this is a fairy tale and it looks like a side story of one of the characters and it says fairy tale Rondudite. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Uh, so it looks like a side, yeah, side story. Uh, so iconic dragon slayer, great Gagiel Red Fox has lived his life in the shadows in the motley crew of fairy tale. He hasn't always fit in. When Gil Lee gets news of an escaped prisoner he may be connected to, he must leave on a journey to confront his past. Will he stand strong with his new family in fairy tale, or will all forces pull him back into the darkness? Discover Gigi's story in the official fairy tale spin-off. Uh, so yeah, um, fairy tale isn't one I've got into. I've watched the first six episodes and it was like one piece but a little bit more slapstick and i just couldn't take it really seriously i just kind of felt uh, should i carry on or keep going or should i stop and i wasn't too sure um but the artwork in this is super duper nice and i do have a couple of the other ones of the book which uh, might get me to get back into it so uh that's pretty cool um so i do so i'm sorry if i pronounced the guy's name wrong um, but yeah, it's a super nice arc and a really nice cover and a Loot Crate exclusive, so uh, this might be one to add to my collection. That was everything in the box for this month, so as always we have a lovely poster and this month's artwork is some official screenshot of the Assassination Classroom promo, so that's really cool because I love Kuroi Sensei, he's amazing. And then oh, I have the contents of this month's box, so we have the exclusive Avon Gideon shirt, um so they have an exclusive link to the evangelion movies the fairy tale manga which is the exclusive version cover for the box the assassination classroom lanyard <laughs> the uh, seven deadly sins exclusive tote bag and the exclusive art um, overlord pin uh, the cool pin features cover art from the first volume of the overlord light novel haven't read it yet please head to loot crate and check out a digital copy with your pin a great addition to your wardrobe and your library so that's pretty cool i have a book to read today so yay so that is really cool and the box this month nothing too interesting but it's pretty cool it's reminiscent to a Evangelion. so um all the codes and everything and then all the mech names and everything so that's a pretty sweet box even though it's considerably tiny it still had quite a lot of anime goodness in it this month so that is the breathe crate i really do like this box and um, i love the book uh, even though i don't read the franchise it would be super cool to read on another character love the tote bag love the shirt and the name lad super cool uh next month's box is alternative universes so we have um fully coolly or flcl uh, the Ancient Magnus Bride, which I'm super looking forward to. I, I love that anime. It's super, like, super good, but also super sad sometimes. But that's what makes it really appealing. And the art's amazing. Uh, then we have um, Online Monster Hunter. I don't play Monster Hunter, but hopefully it'll be a funky item nevertheless. And uh, Magical Girl Lulahana. Hana. <laughs>